If you're looking to escape the summer heat and go high up into the mountains and enjoy the cool of the pines, then Colorado has exactly what you're looking for. How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to the Campendium YouTube channel where it's our hope and our goal to provide you with the resources and the information to get out there and camp. And today we're looking at free camping in Colorado. It has some amazing, beautiful places to get out there and enjoy some beautiful lakes, frigid streams, the aspens are beautiful, up in the pines, the views are gorgeous. Why are we wasting any more time describing it? Why don't we get into some of these campgrounds and see what Colorado has to offer? We're gonna start this amazing list off with Madden Peak Road, where Teo says, this place just felt like home. Stayed 10 days and didn't want to leave. Perfect weather, great sun for solar, blazing fast Verizon. Not too many bugs, lots of cows. They visited my site every day. Easy access to the wonderful town of Mancos and 25 minutes from everything Durango has to offer. I love it here. Can't wait to come back. Next on our list is County Road 34, where a comment from Where Is Becky says, perfect location for daily visits to Mesa Verde, Cortez, and Durango. Found the site on Campendium and was so pleased with it. It was very easy to find right off the main highway, then make the first right. The sites are numbered, which makes it quite easy. The next free camping site we have on our list is Sultan Camping Area, where Free Rain Project said, two other campers already on site, so we took the most out of level site, but we were very close to the creek and we had our privacy. Quick drive to Silverton, which we did every day, sometimes twice a day. We also went up the dirt road to hike Ice Lakes, which is one of the best hikes I have ever done in my life. This place is truly amazing. I couldn't believe that it was free. Next on the list is Sultan Creek. We have a review from Jimmy G that says, it's such a beautiful area. It's hard to go wrong around here. I pulled in and immediately found a nice spot with a fire ring and a nice view. Looks like you can go back pretty far in if your vehicle can handle the rough road. I was here during the week and I could see a few other vehicles around, but it still felt like I had the peace and quiet I wanted. And just across the way from Sultan Creek is Anvil Campground area, where 33 and Free said, I wanted to keep this place a secret, but I wanted others to experience the amazing area. We were originally going to stay in Sultan, but we looked across the river and saw Anvil. When we scouted the entire dead end strip, we got to the end and saw the last spot and we both were like, yep, this is the spot. We would stay here again in a heartbeat. When talking about places to go in Colorado, it's hard to not recommend Crested Butte. It's a beautiful town. It looks like it should be right on the front of a postcard. And it's, they touted themselves as being the, the wildflower capital of Colorado. So if you're looking for a beautiful place to camp near there, you could look at the Slate River, where Nathan says, don't come expecting cell phones or warm nights, but if you get fidgety over waterfalls, fresh bear scat and endless mountains covered in flowers well into July, then this end of the road is more than Boys to Men, ABC, BBD, and East Coast family could ever hope to harmonize with. Nathan is actually on the Campendium team. He writes all the, the blogs that these videos are based off of. He has 300 reviews of campsites on Campendium. That's that's pretty pretty impressive. So if you want to have a good read, just click on his uh, one of his reviews and read through some of the other ones. They're very, very entertaining. But the next place we have on our list is Washington Gulch Road. The road might be a little on the rough side, but Love Life on the Road said, dispersed Colorado camping at its best. Other folks have commented that the Washington Gulch Road camping is premier and I have to agree. This is classic Colorado. Now, moving on, if you wanted to camp near Grand Junction, Colorado, there's places like Escalante Canyon Road. There's also Miracle Rock, or there's 25 Road as options to camp at. But the next one on our list is County Road 48, where Watson's Wanderer said, this is a great choice for free camping near Turquoise Lake. We ended up here after staying five nights at the nearby Silver Dollar Campground. 
where you won't find water views or be able to walk to the lake from your site, you will find peace and quiet and a nice forested setting with mountain views. Now, if you're looking for places to camp near Rocky Mountain National Park, there's places like Vasquez Ridge along with West Magnolia Campground. But let's take a look at what Stillwaters Pass has to offer, where Emma B said, this was our first time at Stillwater and we had a blast. We camped at two different beautiful campgrounds and went on a hike to Lost Lake. The campsites were pretty clean and there are sites for miles and miles off CR4. So you can be as close to or as far away from the start of the pass as you'd like. Now, I hope this quick list gets you excited about what Colorado has to offer, or at least intrigues you enough to wanna to look at the full article that Nathan wrote about free camping in Colorado. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description to that article and to all these different campsites that we talked about. So if you wanna check out any of them, just click the link and it'll take you right to them on the Campendium website for, for more information. So I think that's gonna do it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from Campendium, hit that subscribe button and uh, remember to get out there, keep exploring and to stay safe. We'll see you next time.